Good day. Welcome. This is your Daily Med with Lady V. Today we want to look at salvation. Salvation, the grace of God. And we will see from the word of God that salvation is not a result of anything that we might have done or can do, but a result of God's grace. When we spell the word G-R-A-C-E, we see it as an acronym, God's riches at Christ's expense. So today we will look at 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 9. We will also look at Romans 5 and verse 8 and Titus chapter 2 verse 11. So as we look at 2 Timothy chapter 1 and verse 9, sorry, we will understand this morning what is he saying to us. He says, who had saved us and called us with an holy calling, not according to our works, but according to his own purpose and grace, which was given us in Christ Jesus before the world began. So we know that this salvation and this calling, it is not according to our works. Our calling and our salvation was given to us by God's grace. This means that we did not do anything at all to deserve them. But rather deserve what is the opposite. We could not earn neither our gifting nor the grace of God. But God freely bestows them upon us without any price. We didn't have to pay. This, in, this is in according to his own purpose. It's according to his grace. So why should God have so much love for ungodly sinners that he would do such thing for us send his only begotten son to bring us salvation send his only begotten son so that he could be a substitute for us. One who would die in our place. One who would take the sins of the world upon himself. So that he could save us. So that we could spend eternity with God our Father. The only possible answer as we see. The Bible says it is because of his sovereignty. Therefore, it is in his own purpose and his grace. The reason for this action, not to leave us to die in our sin, but rather to lay our sins upon his son. The Bible tells us uh, salvation was in the heart of God. And in his heart, he has a heart of love. He loves us. He cares for us. He favors us. And this favor was given to us uh, in Christ Jesus he says before the world began. This means that in eternity past, 
God determined upon this wonderful plan of salvation. He determined to save guilty sinners through the substitutionary work of his dear son. He decided to offer eternal life to those who would believe on his son Jesus Christ and the redemptive work that he did for us at Calvary. The Bible tells us he decided and thank God that he did. But as many, the Bible says, that will receive what he did, now we can become the sons and daughters of God when we accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. The method by which we could be saved was planned not only before we were born, but even before time began. Titus chapter 2 and verse 11. Titus chapter 2 and verse 11. In Titus 2.11 tells us, For the grace of God that bringeth salvation art appeared to all men. So this grace is extended to all. The grace of God is virtually synonymous with the Son of God. God's grace appeared when the Lord Jesus Christ visited our planet. When he came to earth and especially when he gave himself for our sins. He appeared for the salvation of all men. His substitutionary work is sufficient for the redemption of all. What can wash away our sins? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make us all again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious is that flow that makes us white as snow. No other fountain we know that can do such. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. So the offer of pardon, the offer of forgiveness is made to all, but only those who will receive this offer will be saved. And we realize from the scripture, although this offer is made to all, not all will be saved. The Bible tells us in Romans 5 and verse 8, But God commended his love towards us, in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. So when Jesus Christ died, we were his enemies. We were not his friends. But he died for us anyway. That is what he came to do. And we know that we might ask, why? Why would he do this? He did it because we were not good in and of ourselves to call forth such love. So he had to do it for us. We were totally weak and helpless sinners, lost, heading into doom. But God, in his infinite love, 
and mercy granted us grace through Jesus Christ when he sent him to die for us. He saved us by his death. How much more can he save us by his life? We do not have to remain in our sins. We do not have to die in our sins. We do not have to pay the wages for our sins. We do not have to live as slaves in sin. When Jesus Christ came, Jesus Christ, the grace of God to redeem us from our sins. If we will but accept what Jesus Christ did on the cross of Calvary, the Bible tells us, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. God bless you. Thank you again for watching. Please like, please comment, please subscribe, please share with others. And don't forget to visit my other sermons that are on my YouTube channel, Daily Bed with Lenny.